What's up guys, hope you are doing well there and welcome to the channel Seek Show. I hope you are following my A to Z QGIS tutorial series. If not, please click the card show in the top right corner here and start from the lesson 1. So today is the 8th video tutorial on QGIS software. Here I will be discussing more about types of raster data in QGIS. Let's get started but before that, if you are interested in learning ArcGIS, QGIS, remote sensing and all kind of educational stuff hit the subscribe button down there and click the bell icon to get the latest video updates raster data is data that is image based it is different than vector data which is points lines and polygons now we can add various types of raster data to QGIS including digital elevation models and other photos. How do we add it? If it was a file, we could simply drag and drop it from the browser. For example, if I go to my raster data folder, simply you can click drag and drop. There is another way to add raster files into your project. Go to layer, add layer here and adding raster layer. You can select this file to navigate for a raster file here. You can simply click the raster file that you want to add here. I will select this one for now. Select and open. Click add here and simply close. You can see that the file has been added here. Also, simply there is another option. If you go to add raster layer here, you can find that this protocol option. Before that, I want to remind you that when you are browsing this file, you can simply click this one and you can simply browse here and you can see that there are number of uh, different different file types that you can add into your QGIS project. As an example, you can see that there is a ASCII files, ArcInfo, ArcInfo binary grid, and AutoCAD driver, bathymetry attributed grids, ERDAS and so on. Here also you can see that there is geotips which has elevations inside so you can 3D model with geotips. So we have all these types and options and we can add them that way or simply just pick and drag and drop from the browser. I'm going to cancel this for now and here this is the protocol option the most important thing about protocol is that if you got rasters in associated georeferencing files most files have an associated georeferencing that means within the file for example on ecw or a file like a tiff that may have a world file called tfw this file or georeferencing allows you to insert the image in the right location in the world otherwise you may have to use other tools so if you look under the raster here i will close this and go to this raster you can see there are several different options raster calculator aligned rasters analysis projections and so on aligned rasters basically says if you take a photograph, say you learned out of a window and took a photograph of a ground, you could actually manually locate or georeferencing that image on the ground in a map. And you could use that tool to align rasters. Then there is all sorts of projections and warping, merging of raster images and even you can do the extraction. You can clip it and create contours. Finally, you can even convert it to other types. So there is all sorts of tools that you can use within a QGIS software. Finally, understanding these various types of raster that you can use really helps you to plan what kind of files you will be using within your QGIS project and how to manipulate them and use them in the future. For next tutorial, I have planned to discuss on WFS, in other words, web map services in QGIS. So stay tuned and don't miss that. Please hit a like for this video and if you are interested in learning free educational stuff like this, subscribe for the channel and click the bell icon for future notifications. I will be back with the next tutorial soon. Till then, take care and goodbye.